Hey guys, I'm gonna make a static website generator with the Rust programming language. It's gonna be, uh, it's already made here, but I'm gonna, we're gonna go through it step by step. You know, you're gonna, I'm gonna remake it basically in these, these next few videos. Uh, but it's, it's less than 155 lines of code. It's a static website general generator. It's super simple. It's super fast, and um, basically this is what it does. So it's um, we have a web page and it's going to generate this side menu or you, you know you can make your own template there's a template here uh let's see so we have a template file you know you can create your own template file and then we have a a map file and this is what tells it which pages to make and where to get the content to fill those pages so there's basically two parts to this static website generator uh, that, that form into this main page there is the like the the template which is the header sidebar if there was a footer you know that kind of thing and then there's the content part and uh that's basically it those two those two parts form together to make the web page and if we look at this template file you can see that um you can actually put you know multiple different sections in your template anything in these curly brackets is where the content is going to get inserted um, and you just so you just put you know separate html in there and it doesn't exactly save time when you're first making the website but anytime you want to make changes to this menu or to the the header or the footer or the content anything like that it's going to save you a lot of time and the reason it's going to save you time is that uh, when you use a static website generator, instead of, see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine HTML pages. Instead of copying this header and sidebar, uh, copying and pasting it to each of those HTML files, this generator is basically just going to copy that to each of them for us. So anytime we update it, update the template, it's going to, we can recopy it to all of them, you know, instantly instead of having to copy and paste ourselves. It just saves a lot of manual work. And um, so that's that's it. I'm gonna show you this in action. Let's do that real quick. Um, this isn't something, this, this is, di so I wanted to make a simple website, kind of like a portfolio website. And I, I've i used Jekyll before and I've used Hugo and I've even played around with Gatsby JS. And all of those things are just, if you just want to make a simple website, it's it's just too much to learn those and to go through installing them and everything. Um, if you're just making a super simple website, I thought instead, why don't I just take the time that I would take to learn, you know, relearn how to use Jekyll or learn how to use Gatsby JS and just make my own because I just want a simple website anyway. And at the time, I was you know playing with Rust a lot, so I was like, oh, I'll just make it in Rust and. We'll do it and so I did it um, and here it is so you can see this site is blank right now we're gonna put this thing in action you can see we have our JSON map file our HTML template file and then my content files which are just text files but they actually contain uh, it's actually gonna insert HTML um, or it could just insert plain text too like this just plain text but well you can see there is some HTML in there the line breaks but Okay, so, um, and then there's an executable, there's a .exe, that's if we were on Windows, I would run that one, but on Mac, it's just, on, on Mac, or Linux, it's just that. So, I'm in the directory right now here, um, and I'm just gonna execute, and let's go to this site folder, you, you'll be able to see immediately all the pages just show up there, boom. So. Uh, that's how fast it generates all those. It's pretty cool, actually. The, just the, the speed of it, it's in itself. And there's the page. So that's it. That's what we're going to be making. It's going to be in Rust. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, really, it's it's nothing too complicated. And if you want to, um, and you're welcome to, this is on my GitHub page. It's called Muffins. Um, you're welcome to use that if you want. If you don't even want to bother, you know, making this, going through 155 lines of code. You're welcome to do that. Um, oh, I did want to. So this is this is not following. Uh, 
any kind of standards on static website builders. I'm not even sure if there are any. I just was, you know, wanted to make this website one day. So I was thinking like, how would, you know, how would I do that? How would I automate that, you know, to take out the bulk of the work that, uh, the manual work that I would have to do. And so this is what I came up with. This is, so this isn't, you know, maybe not the most elegant way to do it. I don't know. It's, it's only 155 lines of code, so it can't be too bad. I don't think, but, um, there could be better ways. And I'm sure that Jekyll and Hugo and Gatsby JS and uh, whatever next JS, if that's one or whatever the, all the there's like millions of static site generators. I'm sure they all do it differently than this, but, um, this is a very straightforward concept and I'm sure they all have something similar to this at their very core. Um, just the main program, we load in the map file, we load in the template file, we uh, generate the menu items from the map file, which is a, a chunk of HTML that we're generating. We create the HTML of the, the we, we mesh the template file and the content files together to create um, HTML for that. And then we write those to a string and then we write them to a file. And then we get, that's what, where we get these HTML files. Super simple. And um, yeah, let's, uh, we're going to, we're going to make it. So stick around and, and check the rest of the videos and we'll go through. Thanks for watching and peace out.